No matter what wine you drink, the principles of its production remain the same. But what we love sharing with people is the way in which wine, which has been made the same way for thousands of years, can express itself in so many different ways. Remarkable, Joe, how this, this immigrant grape has defined so much of the country's wine. And it has become something very different. That's why it's not Malbec, it's Malbec. I came here thinking I would learn about the brewing process, but I've found out so much more. Everything from the purity of the water to the quality of the rice. You know it's from a hot country. Yes, it, it sort of smells arid. It is a hot country, it is a dry place, but it's very high up. It's a misnomer to think of this as being a desert winemaking region. This actually has a very similar climate to, to where we are now in central Italy. They're very, very big flavours. The, the sauce with it is quite strong as well. And then you've got lots of texture. Uh, oh, so I think you're going to need a wine that's got a bit of punch. The famous coffee test, where we can learn a lot about your palate. Some people are four times more sensitive to taste than other people. Now, you have lots of taste buds. That's why you have an amazing palate. The grapes are left on the vine, and then as the temperature plummets, you go out in the middle of the night and you pick the grapes off and you press these frozen grapes. So all you get is this very unctuous juice. I don't think vines really have any business being down here at all. They're not used to this environment. This is so harsh. And people always said to me, the, the best wine comes from vines that struggle. We put some vines in here never thinking they would actually grow, um, and they have. You turn the lights off. Does it heighten your senses for tasting wine? Absolutely. It's better. Really? One, two, three. 